Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. That's easy. I'll take the, uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I'd need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. It's not weird at all. Reuben is the best pet I could ask for. Obedient, loyal, and always happy to see me at the end of a long day. A friend. I should have said friend, not pet. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> 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 oh man, you guys totally freaked out. That was awesome. <laughs> Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That's what you get, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? You scared us half to death. Nothing is fun if you're not scared half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> as long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. 
Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Ruben. That'll do, Ruben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition. But you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. It's not that big of a deal. Endercon will be fun either way. What? Uh, hold on. Let me try that again. What? He's right, Jesse. Incredibly. This is a huge deal. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben oh, with us. No. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team, team. prepare. <laughs>
We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, mm. oh great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa. Sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders. You guys are in booth five. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Nope. It's like everyone in town is here. I don't like the look of this. Crowded. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is better. A creeper that shoots fireworks is cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, pet. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know... Make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Awesome. Ocelots! Ocelots! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Builder Bump. Hmm. 
Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. <laughs> you worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! He was aiding that pump. The lava's getting closer. Gonna ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. You guys stay and save the build. On it. We've got to cover, Jesse. Be Ooh. careful. We'll meet up with you at Endercon! <clears throat> Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Could that be Ruben? Hmm, pig tracks. He must have run by here. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Reuben started this. Here's some pigs. Reuben, are you in there? Reuben? Reuben, come here, boy! Stupid pigs. Reuben! No, not you guys. Pigs! Hey, all pigs but Reuben, shut up! Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Ruben! Ruben, is that you? Ruben? Ruben! Oh no, you in there, buddy? 
Oh, jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Ruben, run! <sighs> I think... I think we're good. I think we made it! run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town, I promise! Get out of here now! Get off me! Come on, let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Y y this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. The guy you got the skull for, what's his deal? He's kinda strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him, hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. 
Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. I can't believe it. We won. Axel was right. Everyone loves a creeper. Good for you, Jesse. It's about time we beat Lucas and his gang of jerks. What kind of stupid name is the Ocelots, anyway? You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him. Just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! <sighs> Crap. Ah! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Hurry up, Jesse! All right, let's jump! No, you dive into the water. You don't land on top of it. Pull yourself together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's gotta be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or... anyone. 
Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him, huh? He'll turn up sooner or later. I just know it. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. Sorry we didn't come with you, Jesse. But hey, we won! Looks like abandoning friends in their time of need paid off yet again. If I didn't know any better, I'd think that creeper was really gonna explode. We did okay, didn't we? I still wish I'd gotten that part in the back to look better. I could have fit more fireworks in there, somewhere. We deserve a victory party. Who's in? I like all kinds of parties, but especially ones where I get to celebrate winning. About time I'll be the guest of honor at something. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. And just who are you? I'm waiting. The name's Jesse. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well? You're the guy who needed a wither skull, right? Not so loud, you idiot. Too many people know my business already. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't? You'd better not be toying with me. Petra has it. She'll be back any minute now. Well, as long as she's bringing it. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to wait a minute longer. Uh, well... Ivor! Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry I'm late, but good things are worth waiting for. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us... You didn't say anything about an us when we first met? And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. I'm cool if he's cool. It's settled then. You're both cool. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. This isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Yeah, or you'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? Lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. Well, 
lines are always super long for this booth. Bunch of cool masks. I don't have time to play dress up though. Well, we won't find him just standing around. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside, please. I have just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. But the keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. You guys big Gabriel fans or something? Too bad it's sold out. Sup? Sup? What's up? Nothing? What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I, I just said nothing. Hey, uh, congrats on the win. I mean, I still think our beacon was amazing, but you guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean, I thought the whole monster theme was plenty cool, but fireworks, too? It was sort of cool. Your beacon wasn't too shabby. You don't have to do that, okay? You guys won fair and square. Hey, you didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. Not if you know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Coolio. Coolness. <laughs> see you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. Starts the party off right like a great DJ. Oh man, I love this song. What's it called? Too obscure to have a name, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured. Ha ha ha! Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated and mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over... We really need your help, Axel. If we don't find this guy soon, we might never find him. I was looking, I just got distracted. Have you seen Reuben? I was hoping he might have made it to town while I was distracted. I haven't seen hide nor hair. But I'm sure he's fine, he's a tough little ham. Axel? Alright, alright, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get owned. Ha, I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag. That was your stupid pig. I hear intense heat causes brain damage. It does boost the flavor something crazy, though. I don't know when. I don't know how, but someday, far in the future, when you're least expecting it, we will get our revenge. Whoa! I was just joking! Jeez! Yeah? Well, I wasn't. Hey! Hey, where do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Is that you? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bow. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. Ruben! What's the big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. 
That's my pig! Oh, really? Well, I found him out in the woods, so I think that makes him my pig. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Give him to me now. You wouldn't be threatening me, would you? What if I am? I'm not interested in arguing with you. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Otherwise, it's straight to the slaughterhouse for this one. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. He's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I never should have let you run off in the woods. Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy, he cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait, there he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah, hey. What would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. You should laugh. This might sound crazy, but we're actually on an important mission. I hope your mission came with tickets to the show, because, I mean, otherwise... Chicken! 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 <laughs> it's gone. You're totally fine. You were totally cool, dude. We have to do something. Like what? The show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. Any other bright ideas? We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoot, shoot! Get out of here! Usher is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Any ideas? Yes. That pertain to our current situation? No. Thought so. Reuben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hmm. I bet I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey, we meet again. <laughs> hey. One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Hey, uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. 
I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Oh man, this guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in every slot, and uh, every slot, a slime. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right... there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Where'd he go? There! Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. We politely ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Not bad. You ready? Ready. You see anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? It's like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask politely, Axel. Yeah, but if the guy's not here, we can't ask. So I say, we take. I don't want to stoop to his level. But isn't that the best way to get back at him? Let's focus on finding the skull, not stealing. Nobody ever lets me have any fun. We let you hang out with us. The faster we find what we're looking for, the faster we can get the heck out of here. Mostly stuff about brewing. Oh, hello. <laughs> too heavy. And too soft. But super flashy. Yeah, I don't think this guy does much fighting. Hey, you still have that one stone sword, right? Yeah, I had to wave it at this jerkwad butcher earlier, you know, to save Reuben's life. Impressive. You're keeping it? But I thought it was too soft, too heavy. Eh, it still might come in handy. And it is super flashy. Find anything? I want to steal that. And that? I just want to touch that. Find anything? He's no slouch when it comes to enchanting. This is pretty advanced stuff. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? <laughs> Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? 
<laughs> oh, don't be so hard on yourself. Hey, Lucas, you find anything? Uh, you want an instruction manual on how to build a creepy villain lair using everyday objects? Just keep looking. We'll be out of here soon, I hope. Ooh, take a look at this. You're not gonna believe me, but I swear I had a dream about this. Okay, Potion. I know this is a big step, but I would be honored if you'd come home with me. Come on, Axel, make yourself useful and go find that skull. I am. Uh, nope, you're literally doing the exact opposite of what I just asked you to do. There's no way he won't notice his fancy potion is missing. A good thief always covers his tracks. <coughs> Fixed it. Oh, yeah, the perfect crime. What the hell is all this stuff? Soul sand. It was everywhere in the nether. What about that block in the middle? I've never seen one of these before. I wonder if I just take a closer look. Do you feel that? It's almost pulsing. How is it glowing like that? Don't touch that, Olivia. I was just curious. Don't forget what we're here for. Find that skull. So, good news, weird news. I found the skull, but... The hell? Why'd I risk my neck for that skull if he's got two of them already? He was in such a hurry to get it, too. There's gotta be something bigger going on here. Something we just don't see. Maybe Ivor is some kind of collector. A trophy hunter. Or he could be collecting them to make a bunch of banners. I think I know what's going on here. Soul sand, plus three wither skulls. That's the recipe for a wither. But a wither? That's... One of the worst monsters there is. We came down here to find the skull. Well, we found it. Maybe we should just grab it and get out of here while we still can. Uh, guys? Scatter! Don't you recognize me? Oh, wait. Surprised to see me? No, that's not good. Thought you were rid of me, didn't you? That's better. What was that? Who's there? Hey, you! What are you doing here? What did you see? Leave him alone. Yeah, back off, pal. You two. Did you follow me here? You thought you could just screw us over and get away with it, didn't you? We're here to prove you wrong. What are you going to do about it? I have what I want, and you have exactly what you earned. Now get out before I put you out. We know what you're doing down here. Soul sand and three wither skulls? You're building a wither! Huh, smarter than you look. Hey, nobody talks to my friends like that. Now shut your mouth, or else. Enough! You've wasted too much of my time already. Where'd he go? If you won't leave of your own volition, I'll happily remove you myself. Show our friends the door, will you?
for the first time ever here at Endercon, we are very proud to present the one, the only, Gabriel! Gabriel! Please, please! Thank you. Are you with me? Everybody okay? Um, guys? Where's Lucas? I thought he was right behind me. Well, if he's not here, the only place he could be is... He's still down there. Ivor's got an iron golem and all the ingredients to build a wither down there. If he were to unleash it in this crowd of people, we have to act fast. It just so happens that the greatest warrior of all time is in the building. Felt a lot of we should ask Gabriel for help. This is the smartest way to help Lucas. He's tough. I just hope he's tough enough to hold out a little bit longer. I'm going after Lucas by myself. By yourself? Are you sure, Jesse? Yeah. The rest of you, go get Gabriel. We're on it, Jesse. We'll figure out a way to warn Gabriel, and then we'll meet you back here. Let's crash this party. Be back as soon as I can. Be careful. Here goes nothing. This is the best spot I've ever been in. Any bright ideas? I'm gonna go in swinging. With what? Don't take this the wrong way, but don't do that. Just, just don't. Run! <laughs> nice one, Reuben. Okay, Jesse, come on. Let's go. Thanks for coming back for me. I didn't know if anybody was going to. No man left behind, that's my motto. Guess I owe you one. Where are the others? Dude, I don't know how I could be any clearer. Weird guy, doing weird stuff. Freaky, with a side of strange. Why won't you listen to me? What do you want me to do, tell you charade style? I promise you, that's the last thing I want you to do. Four words, six syllables. Sounds like Smonster in the Schmacement. Next! Wait, just. I have a question for you. Excuse me, sir, you'll have to wait your turn. Just tell me first do you really believe anyone can be great? With enough hard work? Yes! Was that where I went wrong? I simply didn't work hard enough? Ivor? Is that really you? How dare you interrupt like this? Wait, this guy is a friend of yours? He's no friend of mine. Finally, a little bit of truth! Why don't you tell them the real story, Gabriel? 
I see time has made you bitter. And it's made you an even bigger fool. Now these people were promised greatness, and I'm ready to deliver. I'm sorry this is how they had to learn the truth. Gabriel, you have to stop him! Nothing built can last forever, Gabriel. I... No! Creature, attack! Creature! Attack! Yeah! What have you done? Gabriel! No! Stay away! It's after me, not you. Look at him! The mighty Gabriel! Looks like true greatness is out of his reach. He may not be able to defeat this creature, but I can! Creature! Retreat! <clears throat> creature! Retreat! Retreat, I said! Retreat! Ivor, what are you doing? Oh, uh, no need to be alarmed, my friends. I have an elixir that will destroy this creature. That... Potion, is that? Uh-oh. Uh, what? Impossible. It should have worked. I took such care. The potion. Axel, you've got to throw the real potion. But finders keepers. You thieves, you're ruining everything. Axel, come on. Jesse, throw it. It's protecting itself! Without the command block exposed, the potion is useless! It wasn't supposed to happen like this! Ivor! You coward! Come back here! Jesse, help me! Thank you. Ivor was right about one thing. I can't defeat that thing. Not on my own. Everyone's running away. Except for you. Will you help me? I must get to the temple. But what needs to happen next? I can't do alone. Of course! Follow me! Basement, I... Thanks for coming back for me, Jesse. I wouldn't be here without you. Jesse! Wait! Wait, we have to stay together! Jesse, help me! I can't hold on!
still have everyone? We must set out for my fortress. We'll be better protected there. Thanks for that just now. Yeah, well, now we're even. We'll be safe as soon as we get to my temple. Chamber is built entirely of obsidian. We should be untouchable in there. <laughs> Hurry! If you can get through the portal, you'll be safe! Uh, something's not right here. It's not lit! Everyone, get in! Now! Gabriel! Thank you. There are so many of them. I can't save them all. I can't stop this by myself. We need to find the others. Others? Soren's been missing for years. But the others... You must seek them out. Take this amulet and guard it with your life. You can do this. You must. How am I supposed to find Magnus and Eligard? The amulet will guide you. Take it through the portal, and then... You two, go through the portal and meet up with the others. I'll stay here and do whatever I can. Go on, Jesse, go! Get through that portal, now! I'm not leaving without you! The gang needs you, Jesse. Go through the portal. If anything happens, I'll meet you guys at the temple. Where's Petra? We did everything we could. What are you saying? 
Jesse? What is he talking about? Because it doesn't sound... It doesn't sound good. It was chaos. There wasn't much I could do. Jesse's right. Petra is still up there. I got scared. Just for a second. You got scared? It wasn't my fault. You got scared and it's not your fault? Back off, Axel. We gotta go back. No. We just have to wait. Think about what you're walking into. There's nothing you can do. You'll just end up getting yourself killed. You don't know that. You don't know. Hey, there she is. Come on, come on. You again. Ivor. You ruined everything. Don't pretend you don't know, thief! You took my most valuable potion! And what should have been my moment of triumph! You can't blame us! Your plan, your monster, your fault. Maybe. But if you hadn't stolen from me, I would have destroyed it. And all of those people would have been saved. There's nothing left up there! Nothing but that wither storm. Why are we wasting time talking to this jerk? We have to go and get Petra. The girl! I saw her. What? While I was running toward the portal, I passed her. She was running in the opposite direction. Such bravery. Of course. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. And your friend has crossed it. I'm saying she's stupid. She's going to make it. You're concerned about your friend. It's admirable. You're all going to be dead very soon. We'll see about that. You don't even realize you're in danger right now. So are you. Through that tunnel is a network of minecarts built by the Order of the Stone. It's your only way out. We should go that way. Time's wasting. Let's go. Much as I hate to admit it, he might be right. Bravo for embracing the truth. What was that? I would wish you good luck, but luck won't carry you through the nether. You have my sympathies. Let's get out of here! Run! This must be what Ivor was talking about. Everybody, hold on! That is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. Oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. What are you talking about, new guy? What drop? Oh, crap! You weren't kidding. Everybody, hold on! Okay, so I'm not the only one seeing that we're running out of track, right? No? Good. Jesse, that switch! Now, do it! Oh, arms don't fail me now. Yeah <laughs> Wow! I thought something bad was gonna happen there, but <laughs> I guess everything's gonna be... Whoa! 
Jason! Ah, no! Wait! Oh, oh man! Uh, Axel? Olivia? Ruben? Anybody? Hang on, Ruben! Okay, Ruben, remember how I said everything was going to be just fine before? I know I was wrong then, but I have a very good feeling about this time. Whoa! Well, gas are officially crossed off my to see list. Done with gas. Never need to see them. Oh, crap. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Is, uh, is everyone okay? I mean, I'm not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto with the not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> Your throat's gonna be sore later, Axel. Why? I'm just saying. Wasn't that you doing all that screaming before? Sounded like you were really shredding your larynx. Oh, yeah. I heard that, too. Really high-pitched, kind of like a squeaky piston. Hey, speak for yourselves, you fraidy cats. Reuben and I handled ourselves just fine. Isn't that right, Reuben? <laughs> what? No! You screamed! Like a piglet is who did the piglet-like screaming. <laughs> throw up, like, inside your body? Uh-huh. I know, because I just did. About five times. <laughs> wow. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. I'll go first. That's not what I was saying. I'm going. Well, if you absolutely insist. Well, see you guys on the other side, I guess. Be careful. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, not what I was expecting. Oh man, that was close. There was a zombie. Oh, is it dead? I mean, you know, dead, dead. Yeah. Where are we? In the 
dark in the middle of nowhere. Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. We have to build a shelter. I thought that was what I said, but, uh... You're right. We should hurry. I say we build a treehouse. That'll take forever, and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? In a hut, we won't know what's coming until it's knocking on our door. A treehouse is gonna be spider town. I hate spiders. Let's go with a treehouse. It's functional. It'll keep us out of danger. It's not a bad idea. All right, fine. Let's get started then. If I wake up with a spider on my face, I'm gonna expect you to deal with it. Lower your expectations, Axel. Well, maybe if we'd built into the tree a little bit more, it could've... Never mind. It's... this is fine. It's good. Looks good, guys. Oh, man! What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. One for me. One for Olivia. One for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. I only have four. Oh, no. It's... it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. I'll just... grab something in the morning, or... something. Take it, Lucas. <laughs> no, no, I, I... I can't do that. I insist. Thank you, Jesse. for you, Jesse, not him. If you had to, which would you rather fight? A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens? Choose wisely. <laughs> uh... That's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra is still out there. She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Can't just mope. Gotta keep our spirits high. No, we should be moping. That's exactly what we should be doing. Axel. I'm right, right? Maybe, but she's going to be fine. What makes you think that? She has to be. Fine. Then, uh, we should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split oh, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know, because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to help. See? I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the only one wearing that stupid jacket. Don't tell us what to do. Take. That. Back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know what? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Let's just drop it. Don't be like that, Jesse. Just... Drop it. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I don't have to take this. Listen, why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. 
It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's what Axel wants, right? Let him leave if he wants to leave. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse... That's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why is that? Because I'm starving. Of course. Rain is better than monsters. Thanks for keeping me around, Jesse. Yeah. Listen, don't worry. Okay, Axel will get over it. But still, the way it all went down wasn't cool. Give it time, he'll come around. Thanks, Jesse. Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. Be careful. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right. Look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? What do you dispense, little guy? I get the feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. Probably not a good thing. Oh, come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! <laughs> we're trapped! We activated the dispensers with that pressure plate. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword, oh, and some string from a spider that I fought. String, sticks, flint, and feathers.
Let's do this. All right. The Dead Ender's luck is changing. This must be their enchantment room. Doesn't this look like Ivor's creepy basement? Find anything useful? Not sure about useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These five, five members, five friends, together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone? The stories never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied to us. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? This is so crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Only one way to find out. This is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Is something supposed to happen? Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and well, more historical. Hey, Reuben, find any clues? We're in the Temple of the Order of the Stone, the Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty insane. I just hope we all come out the other side in one piece. It's the same as the amulet.
absolutely incredible! How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. Come on, Jesse, we can figure this out. We just have to keep trying. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. Look, Ivor's still out there somewhere. That Witherstorm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. But just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh... Maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. Uh, no. I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the clear choice to make. You've got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me. Like always. Think about it, Jesse. This is more of a gut call. We need to make sure we get this right. Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Uh, guys? Please hurry. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarities. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. <laughs>